Jesus is not the Holy Ghost. Really? <laughs> That's stupid. And you have to make, say have to, have you to. have to make the differentiation between the two. The Holy Ghost is a person. Jesus is a person. They're not the same person. We have entered into the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. I don't want, I don't want to be in the dispensation of Jesus. You missed it. <laughs> Jesus left you. But he didn't leave you comfortless. He sent the Comforter. Jesus is not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not Jesus. Jesus left you and he sent another. I like to say the another. Until you fully accept the fact that Jesus left you, you can't fully receive the another that he sent. It's why I have to shout from the rooftops, Jesus left you. He's not here. And then I saw from the rooftops, the Holy Ghost is here. He's the one Jesus sent. Matthew 3, 16. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went straight up out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. Say, the heavens. Yes. Where's Jesus at this time? He's on the earth, in the water, coming up out of the water. Where's Jesus? On the earth, coming out of water. Right? And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God. Say, the Spirit of God. Spirit. Descending like a dove. Did it say he was a dove? No, he saw the person of the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. Where was the Holy Spirit now? On Jesus. John baptizing Jesus, Jesus comes out of the water, and they, they look up and they see the heavens opened and the Holy Ghost in a bodily form. Another verse says, coming down and onto Jesus, came out of heaven, right? Yes. Let me ask you a question. Is Jesus the Holy Ghost? No. Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened, and he saw Jesus descending like a dove out of heaven no. and landing on Jesus. No. They saw Jesus descending onto Jesus. Are they two distinct, separate individuals that act like one? Okay? This is very important because our doctrine tells us that Jesus left and that we can't fully receive what Jesus wanted us to receive until we let him leave. And I've said it before, you need to let Jesus go. You need to let go of Jesus. Let go of Jesus? Yes, because you're not actually fulfilling what he called you to do until you let him go and receive the another. Say, receive, receive. The, another. the another. But he said, I'm going to leave, but I'm not going to leave you comfortless. He's going to send another. Nevertheless, I tell you, it is expedient or profitable for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him Say him, him, him unto you. Who did Jesus send to you? The Holy, the Holy Ghost. Did Jesus go away? Yes. Don't get mad at me then when I say Jesus left you. Right. There has not been a transfer of leadership in the church. They're still waiting on Jesus to give them directions and orders, but he told them, don't wait for me. Receive the one fully that I sent. Be fully baptized into him. You have any scripture for that? Yes, I do. Uh, on top of all the ones that I've been saying, let's look at the types of Moses and Joshua. Now Moses, what did Moses do? God called Moses to deliver Israel out of Egypt. According to scripture, crossing the Red Sea was a type of baptism. They were delivered out of sin and out of bondage into, through baptism, by Moses, right? Delivered out of. Say out of. out of. And then that's what Jesus did. Moses was a type of Jesus. But then where were they? For a short period, it was supposed to be a short period of time, they were on the other side of the Red Sea, and they were supposed to go through the wilderness, say the wilderness, wilderness. straight over to the promised land, at which time there was going to be a transfer of leadership from Moses to Joshua. And then Joshua was going to lead them into all the promised land. Another form of baptism when they crossed the Jordan River. 
but what happened to the children of Israel they died in the wilderness after 40 years they were supposed to just march 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 right up to the promised land and go across and voila they didn't do that they marched around in the wilderness for 40 years until they died I present to you today that's where the church is they've been marching around in the wilderness because they would not have the transfer of leadership to go across the baptism of the Jordan River into the promised land and so they just die in their old ways the Bible calls it unbelief and the Bible calls it disobedience they died because of unbelief and they died because of disobedience and they couldn't enter in they're in the wilderness you want to be in the wilderness no then you got to follow there's got to be a change of leadership say a change, change of leadership now you understand that what I've been telling you is that Moses and Joshua were a type of Jesus and the Holy Ghost Moses was commanded by God to disappear he said you can't go into the promised land but you're gonna have to your time is up and then he told him specifically where to go to go up onto this mountain and nobody knows what happened to him and he said don't come and follow me don't come and try to find my bones I'm just going away now does this sound familiar to you don't try to follow me I'm going away now Jesus did the same thing but I want you to look and understand why Moses did it he knew that if they did try to find him or they found his bones they would have started worshiping him and the transfer of leadership would not have taken place so he had to completely say completely, completely disappear from the scene now did that mean that all the things he said all the law that he wrote would would be in ineffectual and just be you know dissolved absolutely not but he had to go away so that people would stop following him does this make sense and follow the another and the Lord said to Joshua this day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses so will I be with thee what do you think this means transfer of leadership transfer of authority at one point I'm not gonna read it at one point uh, Moses laid his hands on Joshua in the front of all the people to show them that the power that was on Moses the authority say authority say authority, authority that was on Moses was now transferred to Joshua and then Moses disappeared he went off and died God took him that they may know that as I was with Moses so I will be with thee. as I was with Moses in the authority in the leadership right yeah. as I was with Moses so will I be with thee this is where the church has totally missed it they're still trying to have Jesus in the position of authority when the transfer of authority has turned over to the Holy Ghost Jesus left completely so that the Holy Ghost could come and the, the way you receive the Holy Ghost and the capacity that you receive him completely is the way that you're gonna fulfill God's plan and prosper until you fully accept the fact that Jesus left you can't fully receive the one Jesus sent Jesus is not the Holy Ghost Moses went away so Joshua could lead what would you think if Jesus didn't go away if he came back in the earth and he walked around on the earth and stuff what would happen would people be following the Holy Ghost they'd be constantly looking for Jesus what are they doing today they're doing the same thing the church is stuck in the wilderness of what waiting and looking for Jesus the transfer of authority and I said this the other week the transfer of authority in the church has not been made and it's why the church is dying in the wilderness that can't be that can't be it be for the children of Israel and they were a type of what the church the church has never entered into the promised land except for those who put the Holy Ghost in the proper position of authority the Holy Ghost isn't Jesus and Jesus isn't the Holy Ghost and Jesus left and who's here the Holy Ghost who are you following the Holy Ghost Jesus didn't say I'm gonna come and baptize you a little bit in the Holy Ghost you're gonna be fully baptized in the Holy Ghost it's what he did it's came for it came here for that all right the gospel of poverty denies the Holy Ghost and can't enter because of disobedience Acts chapter 2 let's read verse 38 then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins are you preaching that we should have nothing to do with Jesus anymore no that's the new birth 
you must be born again you must cross the Red Sea but if that's as far as you go you're gonna die in the wilderness God didn't break the Israelites out of Egypt so they could die in the wilderness repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and say and Amen. you shall say shall, shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise now you should underline that or circle or point arrows to it or something the promise is unto you what promise the, the promise that you shall receive the Holy Ghost why would he be called the promised what was the land called that the Israelites were supposed to go over the Jordan into the promised land, the promised land. why did Jesus call say I'm not gonna leave you comfortless because what's the name of the other one that he's gonna send the comforter do you want to enter into the promised land yeah. the promised land is in the Holy Ghost Romans 4 17 the kingdom of God is in righteousness peace and joy where in the Holy Ghost partially in the Holy Ghost if you're partially in the Holy Ghost you're like partially crossing the Jordan River I'm sort of in the promised land sort of my feet are wet you have to go fully full transfer of authority because Jesus left you have to go fully into the communion of the Holy Ghost you must have full reception and receiving of the Holy Ghost as the one who leads you and guides you and teaches you but I was told to preach this more boldly because the church has left it aside we have people dying in the wilderness because they didn't have a full transfer of authority let me ask you this question with Moses and Joshua was it necessary for Moses to get out of the way completely out of the way for Joshua to be able to fulfill what he was called to do has the church let Jesus get completely out of the way so that they could fully do what they're called to do the answer is no and remember I said doesn't mean that everything Jesus said and did is now null and void absolutely not just like what Moses wrote down was not null and void it sounds like you're trying to get us to fully embrace the Holy Ghost as the leader and the teacher and the guide in the church only only if you want to prosper to the degree that God wanted you to prosper and that doesn't just mean pro in financial prosperity it includes that but prospering in your soul holy spirit soul and body and financially and every other way but the church can't do it listen to me the church can't do it without receiving the Holy Ghost in the full capacity leadership and authority that he was given how about the transfer of authority with with Moses and Joshua it was a full complete so that the people may see that as I was with Moses so am I with thee in the same way you're now the leader who's the leader of the church today the Holy Ghost you want to be kept bound to the wilderness I don't like the wilderness too much no kidding they were only supposed to go through the wilderness on a very short trip from seven to 14 days and frankly in the wilderness the same thing in in the New Testament when Jesus was raised from the dead that time period between when he was raised from the dead and the Holy Ghost came that was the wilderness time that 40 50 days are you here that's the New Testament type of the wets as far as they should be and what did they do during that time they tried to pick a new apostle didn't they how did they pick a new apostle they counted straws give me a break they were in the wilderness if they stayed there they would have died but they didn't they received the Holy Ghost but only some of them received the Holy Ghost we have a whole bunch of the church that's still in the wilderness because they refuse to have the full say full, full. transfer of authority from Jesus into the Holy Ghost